What is going on, y'all? We are coming off of a 9-6 and six week on week number 7 in the NFL. This is your week 8 NFL prediction video. And we got some good games this week. We got some good games. We still have some lackluster primetime games. But, I mean, hey, Thursday night football, there's some good news about tomorrow's game. Cooper Cup should be playing. Now, I want to hesitate a little bit. Cooper Cup has been actually the subject of some trade rumors in the last couple days. Um, we, we've heard that they've been openly shopping him around to teams, and there's a lot of teams that had some injuries last week or have accumulated some injuries this season that might go in for a Cooper Cup, but it sounds like he's going to be on the team for tomorrow's game, and it sounds like he's going to give it a go. Cooper Cup against the Vikings should be better than just the normal Vikings-Rams game that we were potentially going to see. But I'm going to have three confidence points on the Vikings to win this one. The Vikings, um, they, they're, they've been really good this season. There, there's no way fans or butts about it. They've been really good. Um, it sounds like maybe they're in the Matthew Stafford trade discussions. There was some weird stuff about that. Um, I think Sam Darnold's been fine. I don't know why you do that. You have J.J. McCarthy as well coming up through next season. Um, it makes no sense whatsoever. You look at the Vikings. They've had a good year. You look at the Rams. Been banged up. Finally getting a piece back. It's going to take a minute to get back to the Rams that we thought they might be. I don't see the Rams winning. I got three confidence points on it, though. Because with Cooper Cup back, maybe the Rams offense starts to do better. I don't know. Philadelphia versus Cincinnati. We got five confidence points on this one. We have five confidence points on the Philadelphia Eagles to win this. The Bengals have not been particularly great. They have looked better recently than they started off the year. Um, the Eagles, they've had their own struggles, right? Um, but for the majority of it, I think the Eagles are the better team. Saquon Barkley, obviously, is probably the best player in this game. Maybe A.J. Brown. Um, I think... I think when it comes down to it, the Eagles probably win this one. So five confidence points on the Eagles to get the job done on that one. We got Baltimore-Cleveland. I got 16 confidence points on this one. Um, so with Cleveland, I don't know what's going on. It could be Dorian Thompson-Robinson. Um, it could be Bailey Zappi, who they just signed to the practice squad. Or it could be famous Jameis, Jameis Winston. Now, I don't even know how Jameis played last game because he came into the game out and he ended up playing. I don't know the answer to how he even did that. An emergency QB, I thought if you were inactive, though, you were inactive. I didn't know that they could actually use you. Um, anyways, the Browns, they got a lot of problems, a lot of problems at that QB position. They just traded Amari Cooper. Outside of Nick Chubb being back, there's really not much to be excited about. The Ravens, um, they've, they've been better. They Derrick Henry's been really good. Lamar Jackson's been really, really good. Um, Mark Andrews has started to get going. Watch out for the Ravens. They win this game, win it big, 16 confidence points on them to do that. Tennessee at Detroit. Tennessee, yet another team that just hasn't impressed me. And good thing I'm recording it today instead of yesterday. DeAndre Hopkins, by the way, he's in Kansas City now. Just traded him. Just traded him about a couple hours ago. So, no D-hop in this game. Titans, I, we, I wasn't really feeling him with D-hop. I'm not going to be feeling him after with the, without D-hop. The Lions, really solid this season. Um, 15 confidence points, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory on that one. Just the Titans, not a team that really, really excites me. Don't think they got much in the tank. Miami versus Arizona, a little bit of an interesting game. Miami, this should be, should be, Tula's first game back. Cardinals, obviously, we know that they've had a little bit of an up-and-down season so far. Marvin Harrison's had good weeks, and Marvin Harrison's not been that impactful some games like last week. Um, but Trey McBride's gotten going. Um, James Conner had a big week last week. I mean, the Cardinals, they got a lot of talent, but the thing is, this Dolphins team, they were a playoff team. You got to remember that they were a team that was really good last year. With Tua out, they've been terrible. They've been absolutely terrible. But now with Tua here, I expect A Chain to start to find his his rhythm again. I expect Tyree Hill to get into his rhythm again. I expect Jalen Waddle to get into his rhythm again. 
I think, really, they just needed a QB to stabilize things. Four confidence points on the Dolphins to win this one. The Jets versus New England. The Jets traded for Devontae Adams, and he did not fix the problems. He did not fix the problems, believe it or not. Still lost. Still lost big time to a Steelers team. It all starts in the offensive and defensive lines, and their offensive line is not it. It ain't. Aaron Rodgers ain't been able to fix your problems. Aaron Rodgers threw some interceptions. Hasn't looked pretty so far. The Jets, they should have the upper hand against the Patriots. Patriots, obviously, going to have Drake May more than likely in this game. Um, Demario Douglas, I know, got a little banged up last week. Um, but for the most part, this Patriots team is not very inspiring. Jets should win this one pretty easy. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Um, Atlanta versus Tampa Bay. Atlanta versus Tampa Bay. Should be a solid game. Should be a solid game. Bijan's been really solid as of late. Drake London's had a really good year so far. Um, Captain Kirk's been really solid. Buccaneers, on the other hand, tough week. Tough week. Mike Evans sounds like he won't be back till about week 13. Um, Godwin is done for the season. He had to get surgery. Um, both p- picked up the injuries last week. So this is really just going to be the McMillan, Kate Otten, Sterling Shepard show. So, pretty much, you 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 win the game if you're the Falcons. No excuses. Then we got Green Bay versus Jacksonville. Is this one? Is this one in London? I don't know. It's probably not. It's probably not. Um, fourteen confidence points though. Jaguars not a good team. Packers pretty solid. Pretty self-explanatory. Colts versus Houston. Colts have not been good. Anthony Richardson has not been great at throwing the ball so far. Um, a lot of question marks in that receiving room with the Colts. Haven't really gotten many of them going with Anthony Richardson. Um, and then you got the Texans. Texans, you'd like to have seen a better start to the year. Hasn't been. I mean, they've been okay, but C.J. Stroud hasn't been what he was last year and just hasn't really been that inspiring just yet. 13 confidence points on the Texans. They get the job done in an easy, favorable matchup against the Colts. New Orleans versus the Chargers. New Orleans last week was miserable. Last week was miserable. Not sure if Olave is going to play. Rashid Shahid's done for the season. Kamara is still there. But in, until you get Derek Carr back, and I don't know if that's this week, I don't think they're going to win games. Chargers win that one easily. 12 confidence points. Buffalo at Seattle. Seattle, not a bad team, but I have a decent bunch of confidence points on the Bills because Amari Cooper looked good. He looked good with basically no practice for Buffalo. That's going to be a problem for a lot of teams. That's going to be a problem for a lot of teams. Buffalo wins this game, and I'm very comfortable in giving them 8 confidence points. Carolina versus Denver. I got 11 confidence points on the Broncos. Broncos have been getting the job done. Hasn't hasn't been really the flashiness or anything like that. They just get the job done. It's, it's not really exciting, but they get the job done. And the Panthers, they don't get the job done. So we're going to ride with the Broncos to win that one. 11 confidence points. 10 confidence points on the Chiefs to beat the Raiders. Raiders now down Aiden O'Connell. Sounds like they might go back to Gardner Minshew. Um, so, with that being said, Chiefs probably going to win this game. 10 confidence points. Chicago at Washington. Jaden Daniels, we don't know if he's going to be playing this game. Actually sounded like he might be a long shot to play this game. So, it might be Marcus Mariota taking the field. Um, either way, Bears... Should win this game, in my opinion. One confidence point on them. Um, they are playing away. Commanders have been good. But you're playing with a backup QB. Bears should win it. Dallas versus San Francisco. Um, Dallas, they cannot stop anybody. Their offense also hasn't been able to really hang with those teams that they can't stop. So San Francisco wins this game. Seven confidence points on them. And then last but not least on Monday Night Football, we have the Giants versus Pittsburgh. Um, the Giants, not very good. Pittsburgh starting to find their stride. Russell Wilson looked good last week. George Pickens was getting involved. The passing game was there. It was fun football to watch. Najee Harris had a decent game as a running back. It looked a lot more smooth compared to what they had with Justin Fields. Obviously, Justin Fields opens it up from a quarterback perspective, but... 
just the the flow of the game was a lot better a lot better with um russell wilson back there so anyways thank you for watching and i will see you all next time